Hey. <laughs> How are we all right? All right, are we all right, Rhino? Yeah. All right, that's the spirit. Yes, my name is Rich Fakes, but people call me Dick because it's short. <laughs> it's not the best of nicknames, I know. Some of my mates say some things sometimes that sound a bit too dodgy just because it's my name, you know? Like I had a mate come round my house the other day wanted to borrow some tools. Well, I didn't know he wanted to borrow any tools. He just come round my house and says, have you got a saw dick? <laughs> I said, no. He said, can I check? I said, fuck no. <laughs> seen him for ages, you know. I thought I'd call round his house and catch up with him, you know. Well, apparently, since the last time I'd seen him, it had a swimming pool put in his backyard. Well, I didn't know it had a swimming pool put in his backyard. I've just gone around his house, and the first thing he says to me, he says, have you seen me pool dick? <laughs> I said, no. He says, you want to come and have a look? I said, fuck no. I can't even hang around people called Paul, because if he ever went out together, we'd be pulling dick. <laughs> This doesn't sound right, does it? You know? I call myself Rich Neighbourhood though, folks, because I'm from the northern suburbs of Adelaide. <laughs> Which means I caught the train down here tonight, but I plan on driving home. <laughs> I've been there all my life though, folks. I love it a lot. Um, do love it a lot, although I don't quite fit the stereotype though, you know what I mean? I haven't had any kids yet that I know of. I, uh, I, I haven't been to jail yet because I've been busted. And, and so far, you know, I have all my teeth. However, I am only 15 years old. <laughs> So, right, folks, I've been hydroponically grown. <laughs> Seriously, though, folks, I am a model. I am a famous model. Uh, straight up! Straight up, man. I've been modelling now for about 10 years. It's for cigarette packets. You might have seen my foot. <laughs> Actually, I was at, oh, this is a true story, man. It was, uh, it was a little while ago, you know. I was at, uh, I was at the local shops, Davo Park shops, and, uh, and I, was, I was walking, and I saw this beautiful looking girl coming towards me at a distance, folks. No, sh I mean, you should have seen her. I mean, she, man, she had teeth. <laughs> her hair even looked washed. She wasn't even wearing trackies or pushing a pram. I thought, fuck, she's lost. But anyway, right? She's coming towards me, right, and I'm, she's getting closer. I'm thinking, you know, we're going to get it going. I'm looking at her, and she just walked past me, folks, like I wasn't even there, you know. I didn't even get a glimpse. I didn't get a chance. Not even a glance. I thought, you ignorant. I tell you, there's a fine line between love and hate, folks. <laughs> Because no shit, within about 10 steps I'd met her, fallen in love, thought about the marriage and the kids, got the silent treatment, split up, now hate her, you bitch. <laughs> I, was, I was at the Midway Tavern just recently as well. We call it the Midway, I mean, it's called the Midway Tavern because it's midway between your house and a career. <laughs> But I was there one night, right? I was a bit, I was a bit pissed up, you know. And I've had my, I've got my pint in my hand, and I'm just cruising around, right? <laughs> and I've tripped over, and my pint's gone right into this psycho-looking dude sitting at the bar, right? You know, you know those psycho-looking dudes, right? They've got one eye looking at you, and the other one's looking for you. <laughs> You know, those dudes, man, fucking scary, eh, you know? I didn't know what to do, you know? So I've just grabbed his pint, tipped it all over me, 
bought two new pints, good bum, play on best mates for the rest of the night, right? Because when you're as tough as me, folks, you've got to know little tricks to get out of fights, right? Because I'm a shit house fighter, straight up, man. I mean, I can be hit eight times before I realise I'm in a fight, you know? It's like, oh, what's all these fists in my face? Oh, no, it's a fight. What do I do? I know, hug him, right? That's me fighting, right? But I could have a whole gang of people standing around me, folks, ready to kick lumps out of me. But I don't back down, man. I don't back down. I just start dacking myself. <laughs> Come on, then, you fuckers. I ain't fucking scared of you. Let's fucking go. Because there is one thing I have learnt in all of my pub life, folks. No one fights the nude guy. <laughs> it's true, isn't it? They're too scared in case they accidentally touch it or get hit with it, you know? So you fucking got me right in the jeans then. I just washed these. They should have nude bouncers. Just standing there at nightclubs. You know, they might not stop many fights from starting, folks, but fuck, they are guaranteed to stop them from continuing, though. Without a doubt, you know, you'd be fighting away like this. Come on, then you fucking all of a sudden you see some naked rock cape coming at you with a baby's arm, you're thinking, hey, fuck off, man, he's started the best shit, grab him, I'm going. as well folks these days how people talk in acronyms all the time you know what I mean like LOL OMG LMFAO what the fuck that means I'll tell you how bad it's getting right I rang up my mate the other day to ask him what he was up to he says well I was looking for some drugs an E a G some C or LSD ended up getting some H on IOU <laughs> That with a few VBs made me feel like E.T. with MS looking for his UFO. <laughs> well, my mate TJ stole some of my H. None of this BYO. Anyway, he OD needed CPR. They had him on the ECG, but he was DOA. I'm not sure if it was AM or PM, but I'd write PTJ anyway, you know. <laughs> Now ABC and SBS on TV were boring and me BC, CB and VCO were broken so I whacked on my CDs because me LPs were scratched and I don't have a DVD. <laughs> anyway, I became a DJ and whacked on AC, DC, ELO, REM, U2 as well as Run DMC but be fucked if I was put on that YMCA and Bee Gees. <laughs> Later on, I went for a drive in my HQ, which has LPG, and picked up this old <laughs> WA lady with ADD from WA. Um, she died. <laughs> no, I'm not sure if it was if she was, you know, PGM or R rated. But I'd say she was triple X because she skipped the DOA, the Q and A, and the Q and A rode me like a BMX, you know. I fucked the ending up. <laughs> she was later. My name's Rich Nate.